new and awesome HVAC products hitting the market. Some of these products are so new that they can't even be bought yet. As some of you know, I recently went behind closed doors at the largest HVAC facility in North America, the Daikin Factory in Waller, Texas. You can see that video in our YouTube playlist called Daikin Texas Technology Park Trip. While there, I asked some tough questions, including some of the new products that will be hitting the market soon. And some of those new products we're going to talk about right here for the first time. So let's get started. What are these new products? The first one, if you're familiar with the Daikin Fit, which is their side discharge, budget-friendly, high-efficiency, communicating inverter system, the first new product that they're going to be coming out with very soon is in addition to the Fit family of products. What is this new fit system? It will basically be an upgraded fit on steroids. Still efficient, still quiet, still a side discharge communicating inverter system, but it will have increased performance, efficiency, and extra capacity at both low and high ambient when compared to the original fit. When matched with the appropriate coil components, this new fit will be Energy Star certified in residential cold climate heat pumps and qualify for many grants and tax credits. We will do a video in the future on this product alone when it rolls out and we get all the specs and ratings. Next, I'm going to let Arvind, who's in charge of some of the project planning at Daikin, spill the beans on this next bit of news. This is a strategic initiative for us. We call it a fusion process. One of the largest uh, projects, I would say, from a Daikin global perspective. So we converted this 140,000 square feet of warehouse into the manufacturing area. So what was the motivation to bring the manufacturing of the fit to Texas? That's a great question. So uh, the short answer to that is it aligns up with our Daikin's philosophy, the manufacturing philosophy. You know, Daikin's a global company, and what Daikin uh, aspires to do is build the products in the market that it sells. It has a lot of benefits, right? Not just uh, the uh, shortening of the uh, supply chain, but also the input changes in demand, but also just localizing. You heard that, right? Moving forward, if you purchase a Daikin Fit, you're going to be supporting American jobs. Next, let's go to David, who is going to tell us about some more cool things coming for the Fit. So uh, later this year, um, don't get too excited. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. <laughs> Can I get so, this in writing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so later this year, we're going to um, build out the rest of our vertical applications um, for dual fuel. So we're going to have some two new coils that are coming out that will allow us to do three and a half through five ton outflow and counterflow configuration. And then uh, fast forward about a year from now, we're going to be... Um, introducing all of our products in R32 refrigerant, the new refrigerant that's going to be here, the A2L compliant. And at that time, we will be sharing what David's talking about at this moment in a future video. This is great. I, um, if Horace, Horace is my sales rep, my local okay. sales rep that he, I give him a hard time. So if Horace, if you see this, don't get mad at me when my two stage 18 sear systems sales go down because that's what I've been waiting for. So the Fit family of products is getting more options, more capabilities, and higher efficiencies, ratings, and performance. And the Fit will be supporting American jobs. What else is new? Let's go to Connie. So if I'm going to hang this in my room somewhere, then I kind of want to make sure it's going to look nice too. Any um, new colors coming? Yeah, so we've got our Wait. Amira. Uh, our Amira right now is this white and then a silver color. Mm -hmm. uh, with R32, we're actually looking at bringing on an all black. Uh, indoor unit as a third color option. Okay. So we're starting the no yellow the ones. No yellow ones. Oh not shoot. Yeah, mm. not yet. So <laughs> we'll see. You never know where it can go. But uh, is there any other news things coming out in the future that you're allowed to share? Because yeah. I know there's a lot of things you were not allowed to talk about. <laughs> right. Well, there is a lot of great stuff coming, and a lot of that's uh, by this next refrigerant transition. Uh, we're switching to R32. We've already got a system out there now using it. There'll be more at the end of this year. Oh. I'll leave it at that. Oh, 
nice, nice. Yeah. Next, let's go to Mr. Lowell, who's going to tell us about a cool new thermostat Daikin is launching very soon. One of the things that we're doing is we're going to come out with a thermostat that instead of being a smart communicating thermostat like the One Plus is, we're going to come out with what's known as a 24 volt thermostat. So I can share that. So you, you can share that. We've got that in development. So we're developing. That's huge, we're, though. We're developing a smart connected 24 volt thermostat. That yeah. means it can be applied to any system, uh, uh, virtually any system uh, out there, but it's going to be connected. So the homeowner will have app control on their phone for it, and it's also going to connect to cloud services. What is cloud services? It's a way to know if there's a problem right away. Your contractor can get alerts about your system and sometimes diagnose, make changes, and optimize your HVAC system all remotely. More on that in a moment. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and share it with a friend. More new stuff is coming, more behind the scenes stuff, more HVAC tips, and more in-depth interviews. Now back to the cloud services upgrades. Here's Mr. Cahill for the new things that are coming. From a homeowner perspective, by having a Daikin One, by connecting it to the cloud, um, if they're using unitary equipment, they're gonna get the, the monthly energy estimation report. So we can see how much energy the, uh, the system is actually using. So how much electrical energy specifically. And we're not doing runtime, we're doing KWH. So you connect that, you've got your email address in there, we're gonna send that to you. But you're gonna get that if you're a Daikin One uh, you know, homeowner or a Daikin One Touch homeowner with a unitary system. So cool, pun intended. One Cloud Services will be able to give you reports on how your system is running, but what else? Here's Mr. Cahill once again. So the other thing that we've got coming, you were asking about that, is you know what's coming, what's new, what's exciting. So we're actually releasing uh, loss of charge verification tied to Cloud Services. I heard about that. So this will, this will get rolled out in the next month, let's okay. say that. And what will happen is if a system is up and running and moving right along, if that system uh, loses charge to a level that we're very confident, hey, looks like you've lost charge and you're gonna start to lose the ability during peak season to be able to provide comfort, we're gonna go ahead and notify you. So if you have one cloud services enabled on your Daikin thermostat and that system notices a refrigerant leak, your servicing Daikin Comfort Pro will receive a notification. So many cool things coming, some we couldn't quite cover yet. We plan to continue to be a source you can follow for new and upcoming HVAC products and trends. Thanks for watching.